the human nature defined by health all in one ladies and gentlemen welcome to george ken nutritionist today i'm introducing to you a very exciting topic about female hygiene and particularly the cookie or what some call the honey pot and science calls it a vagina yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is George Ken, also known as the Scrutinizer. If you're still new here, I will encourage you to subscribe and also press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly episodes. Our mission is to better human health through contributing to the fundamental knowledge of low nutrients and food components function and also giving solutions by using preventive and curable measures on sub health and disease state. Alright, let's dive briefly into our today's topic. As a female, you're gonna have a natural smell in the vagina. Yes, everybody has a smell and that's just the way it is. And it is normal. If nature had intended the vagina to smell like roses or lavender, it would have made the vagina smell like roses or lavender. But that's not the case. So when washing your vagina, it is a good idea to avoid perfumed soaps, girls, and antiseptics as this can affect the healthy balance of bacteria and pH levels in the vagina and cause irritation. Use plain and perfumed soaps and water to wash the area around the vagina, called the vulva. Gently do that every day. During the process, your hormones will trigger the vagina to clean itself inside your body with natural vaginal secretions called discharge. Vaginal odor can change at different times of the reproductive cycle, say around the time of your ovary release, called ovulation, your discharge usually becomes thicker and stretchy, like a raw egg white. It is also important to note that the character and amount of vaginal discharge varies throughout your menstrual cycle. Yes, changes in the amount of discharge can be 100% hormonal, in other words, linked to menstrual cycle, pregnancy or menopause. During your period, washing more than once a day may be helpful and keeping the perennial area between the vagina and anus clean is also important. Good perennial hygiene is necessary by washing that area at least once a day using normal bathing routines. Note that healthy discharge doesn't have a strong smell or color. You may feel an uncomfortable wetness, but you shouldn't have any itching or soreness around your vagina. If there are any changes to your discharge that aren't normal for you, such as a change in color or it starts to smell or itch, vulvar irritation or any other symptoms, one of the first things that you can do is to use a non-allergic plain soap to see if it can help. While it depends on a woman's age, the vagina generally has an acidic pH. It contains rich quantities of beneficial bacteria that help fend off infections and is naturally lubricated. A healthy vagina also secretes small amount of discharge. While some women might not be aware of it, others can notice anywhere up to a teaspoon or tablespoon of discharge a day. Discharge is a normal physiologic reaction. It is essentially shedding of cervical and vaginal cells. But if a woman experiences changes in vaginal odor, a change in color of their discharge that may be associated with discomfort, whether it is pelvic discomfort or vulva discomfort, itching or burning, any change needs to be evaluated. Protect vaginal pH without donching. Normally, vaginal pH is about 3.8 to 4.5, but donching can interfere with vagina's pH levels, reducing acidity and setting it for bacterial infections. So if your vagina has a strong or unpleasant odor, see your doctor. A donch will only cover up the smell without curing the problem that's causing it. If symptoms persist, you can see your gynecologist or physician as you might be having an infection. Alright, I'll end here for now. So let's meet in our next episode where we're going to handle different STDs and UTIs, causes, preventive measures and treatment. Please don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. Cheerio. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.